everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing this matte brown smoky eye. Um, I actually tried this over the weekend, just playing around with my makeup, and I really liked how it came out, so I wanted to do it for you guys. And if you wanna learn how to get the look, then keep watching. First, oh, I'm gonna try this little guy out. It's from Benefit, it's called Puff Off, and it's super adorable. Um, I'm gonna use this underneath my eyes. It's so cute, it looks like a little iron. This is supposed to help with depuffing your under eyes. I think it has a little bit of a brightener in it too because it kind of brightened up my under eye area a little bit. For my foundation, I'm using the Cover FX foundation. Just going to apply that with my Glamour foundation brush. I did a self tanner so I didn't realize how much how much darker my face my body is for my face. So, excuse excuse the um, mismatch if it's kind of totally opposite. But I'm going to blend it into my neck as much as I can. And now I know that I need a darker foundation. For the concealer, I'm going to use my Smashbox High Definition Concealer in Fair Light. I haven't been able to find this little guy in like five, what, no, I'm exaggerating, like uh, two to three months, and it's been really sad. So when I found this in my little, <laughs> when I found this in my son's backpack, I got really excited. We, oh, we took him to Disney, you know, Legoland, and I packed some of my stuff in his backpack, that's why. It fell out the other day, and I was so excited. Coverage on this is really good. It's very lightweight and it just blends into your skin so nice. And I also kind of go over the broken capillaries around my nose. It tends to be really red around there. So I make sure to get that area. All right, so now we're gonna do the, the eyeshadow, the smoky eyes. So the first color I'm gonna pick up is from the Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, and it's going to be Peanut Butter. That's gonna be our transition color. The next color I'm picking up is from the Chocolate Bar Palette, and it's they don't have names. I'm just going to pick up this color right here, and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. Hi guys, I wanted to introduce my new voice. I'm editing, I'm editing this on a different day than when I filmed, and I just so happened to catch something, and now I sound like a frog. But anyways, back to the makeup. I'm picking up Cherry Cordial, and I'm going to pop this on my lid, blending it t upwards towards my crease. So next I'm going to pick up Triple Fudge, which is this deep dark brown matte color. And I'm going to focus this just on the lower part of the lid. Um, and once I have the amount that I want, then I'm going to blend it upwards towards the crease. Next I'm picking up Coconut Cream from the Semi Sweet Palette. And I'm going to use this as a highlight on my brow bone and then also blend it around the outer part of the shadow just to soften the edges. I'm going to go back into Cherry Cordial and line my lower lash line. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner and line up my waterline so that it's nice and dark. So next I'm picking up Tardist, which is the clay paint liner from Tarte. And I started applying this with my Tarte angled liner brush, then I switched over to the Zoeva angled liner brush because it's just easier for me to work with. 
and now I'm going to sharpen up my wing with a clean concealer brush. Next I'm going to coat my lashes with mascara. I'm using the Vincent Longo mascara and it is one of my faves because it doesn't clump, it lengthens my lashes and it's a dry formula. So after it dries, you can go back over it and it kind of lifts your lashes up and makes them look fuller. These are Perfect Lashes from Foxy Locks. They're currently my favorite lashes. They're natural, but they still add some drama. So now I'm gonna apply my powder. I'm using the Smashbox powder and I'm gonna apply that all over my face is to lock my foundation in. Next, I'm gonna pick up the Anastasia Pink Powder. And yes, it's hit pan. It's hit even rock bottom and everything. And I'm gonna add more coverage to my under eyes and brighten them. And also add this on my tops of my cheekbones as a highlight. For the contour, I'm picking up this color here from the City Color Contour Effects Palette and just chiseling out my cheekbones. And I'm going for a matte highlight today, so I'm going to use the same pink powder we used earlier. And I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose and the center of my forehead. For the blush, I'm using the City Color B Matte Blush in Fresh Melon. For the lips, I'm using this NYX Lip Liner in Citrus. And this is the only color I'm going to use on my lips. So I'm going to outline them and then fill them in. After I'm done, I just apply a lip balm and that's it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And this is this. Am I going through puberty again? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I look like Geraldo Rivera because my hair has this big flap in it. Ta-da! This look then, what am I saying right now? Wait, do girls? Voices change like that? Ahem. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up to let me know you liked it. And if you missed my last two videos, go ahead and check those two boxes down there. They're always there for you guys to check out. Let's check the side, because your Twitter is going to be over there if you tweeted me this week. And that's it. I love you guys so much with all my heart. Until the next video, bye dollies.